She is known for her 75-year film acting career, spanning from 1912 to 1987, making her one of the longest working actresses in Hollywood history. She is recognized as the first lady of American cinema and is credited with pioneering fundamental film performance techniques. Her name is Lillian Gish. In the dazzling world of American cinema, one name shines brightly, Lillian Gish, a trailblazing actress whose impact on the industry is immeasurable. Born into a family of performers, Gish's love for acting blossomed from a young age. From 1912 to 1987, her illustrious career spanned an incredible 75 years, making her a true legend in the field. Often referred to as the first lady of American cinema, Gish is credited with pioneering fundamental film performance techniques that still resonate today. Gish's rise to fame came under the guidance of director D.W. Griffith, with whom she collaborated on numerous groundbreaking films. One of her most iconic roles came in Griffith's silent masterpiece, The Birth of a Nation, which became the highest-grossing film of the era. Gish's talent and captivating presence on screen made her a prominent figure in the silent film era. Her performances in films such as Intolerance, Broken Blossoms, Way Down East, Orphans of the Storm, La Bombe, and The Wind further solidified her status as a cinematic powerhouse. As the industry transitioned into the sound era, Gish's versatility and talent allowed her to seamlessly adapt to the changing times. She graced the stage once again and made occasional appearances in films, delivering memorable performances in movies like Duel in the Sun and The Night of the Hunter. Gish's exceptional acting skills garnered her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Duel in the Sun. She continued to leave her mark on the industry with notable supporting roles in films including Portrait of Jenny, A Wedding, and Sweet Liberty. Beyond her film career, Gish also made significant contributions to television, captivating audiences with her talent from the 1950s to the 1980s. Her final film appearance came in 1987 when she starred opposite Betty Davis in The Wales of August. Throughout her later years, Gish became a dedicated advocate for the appreciation and preservation of silent film, ensuring that the art form would not be forgotten. Her remarkable achievements were recognized with an Academy Honorary Award in 1971 and a Kennedy Center Honor in 1982, solidifying her place in American cultural history. Lillian Gish's extraordinary journey in the world of cinema and her unwavering dedication to her craft have left an indelible impact on the industry. Her pioneering techniques, memorable performances, and tireless advocacy for silent film preservation continue to inspire generations of actors and film enthusiasts alike. Lillian Gish truly stands as a beacon of talent and influence in the annals of American cinema. Lillian Gish, born in 1893 in Springfield, Ohio, had a challenging childhood. Her father, James Lee Gish, was an alcoholic who left the family, leaving her mother, Mary Robinson McConnell, to support Lillian and her younger sister Dorothy. To make ends meet, Mary turned to acting, and the family moved to East St. Louis, Illinois, where they lived with Lillian's aunt and uncle. In East St. Louis, Lillian and Dorothy helped their mother sell popcorn and candy at the Majestic Candy Kitchen, located next to the old Majestic Theater. They attended St. Henry's School, where they had the opportunity to act in school plays. Despite their circumstances, Lillian's talent and passion for acting began to blossom. When Lillian was 17 years old, she received news that her father was gravely ill in Oklahoma. She traveled to Shawnee, Oklahoma, where her father's brother lived. Even though her father was institutionalized in an insane asylum, Lillian was able to reconnect with him. She stayed with her aunt and uncle in Shawnee, attending Shawnee High School. Sadly, her father passed away in Norman, Oklahoma, in 1912. After her father's death, Lillian returned to Ohio with her family. They later moved to New York, where they became neighbors with a young actress named Gladys Smith, who would later become famous as Mary Pickford. Lillian and Dorothy developed a close friendship with Mary and were inspired by her work in the film industry. In 1912, Mary Pickford introduced Lillian and Dorothy to director D.W. Griffith, who was impressed by their talent. He offered them contracts with Biograph Studios, marking the beginning of Lillian Gish's successful acting career. At just 19 years old, Lillian quickly became one of America's most beloved actresses, despite telling casting directors she was 16. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.